That is the fattest caterpillar I've ever seen. Look at his little feet. Good morning, everybody. I'm starting today in Slovakia, but I'm gonna end today in Slovenia. Pinky has had a comfortable night. She actually has a friend, and right now I'm wondering whether or not I could realistically just steal this animal. I would take you. You're so nice, oh my God. This is the perfect cat to have sit on your lap while you just stroke it and come up with evil plans. You're amazing, absolutely amazing. And you've left white hair all over my bike seat. I guess that's where you slept last night. Anyway, today I'm gonna ride through Hungary and I'm gonna end up in Slovenia where I found a really, really cheap place to spend the night. And at that point I will be in the Alps, hopefully. I'm kind of in a bit of a flat spot at the moment. I'm between two lots of mountains and it's, um, it's very windy and the weather doesn't look great. There's no forecast for rain, so I'm not worried about it. Um, but I wanna be somewhere like, you know, high and cornery and pretty. So I'm gonna say goodbye to my friend and I'm gonna head in the direction of the high, cornery, pretty places. Yeah, I'm saying goodbye to you. Oh my God, I love you so much. There's another one. Oh, look, you have each other, so you don't need me. I'm off, I'm going. I'm going, I have to leave. Please stop looking all cute. I will just stay here all day taking photographs of cats interacting with my bike. Right, we're going, we're leaving. I've been riding for about an hour. The sun has come out, it's wonderful. And I've just stopped at this little petrol station to get a hot dog because I've been craving a hot dog and I didn't get a photograph of it because there were people in there and I thought it'd be weird, but it was amazing. I need you guys to understand. We are missing out in England. I don't know what it is, but you leave England, hot dogs, and they're really, really good. I mean, I could just live on hot dogs. I might have to, because I've started to run out of money. And um, I think I'm about half an hour away from the border with Hungary, so that's where I'm heading. There's not really a direct route um, from where I've started to where I'm going, so I've just been going through like little villages with really long, straight, boring, flat roads in between them. Um, getting overtaken left, right, and center by everything because I'm adhering to the speed limits. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna bother doing that for because the a level of disrespect is... Let's go. Hungary. Welcome to Hungary. It doesn't look like they have too many problems with um, people trying to get in or out that shouldn't. In fact, I'm pretty confident that building's abandoned. Bike. I've ended up on a motorway, which is fine because I have a lot of miles to do today, but in Hungary, motorways are not free and they don't have toll booths like they do in France. So you actually have to pay before you go on them. You have to go online and buy a vignette. There's a couple of countries that do this. I know Slovenia is one, Austria is one, Italy's one. There's, there's probably quite a few. Um, I didn't know if Hungary was one. I kind of forgot to Google it. Um, and when I rode through the border, it did say that I had to buy one, but I didn't have any phone reception. So I've got one motorway junction in, I've pulled over and I've paid for it. And hopefully I don't get done for the first 10 miles of motorway that I've already done without one. We will see. Oh, it's sunny and I'm happy. I'm gonna go do some miles and then I'm gonna find some other roads and some food. All right. This video is not entertaining at all. We've been going for about an hour. My bike has um, stopped working. Well, no, the bike works fine. Um, the brain, Pinky's brain, it just dropped out like 30 miles ago and I didn't notice. So for 30 miles, it's been telling me I've got basically 30 miles until that roundabout there. Um, and I hadn't noticed. So um, hopefully it fixes itself when I turn it back on again. But basically at the end of this road is the um, Slovenian border and that was hungry. It wasn't very eventful. I haven't been on motorway for a whole lot of it, maybe like a third of it was motorway and the rest of it was just single lane, straight, fast carriageway with absolutely nothing to look at. No corners, no hills, no interesting buildings, nothing, just a lot of lorries. I wasn't expecting anything absolutely incredible from this country. The reason that I wasn't stopping anywhere here is because I can't find anywhere cheap. And by cheap, I mean 20 quid. I really have gone for cheap, as cheap as possible. 
for the remainder of this trip so basically just kind of blitzed through it and the one time that I did see hills I had a look on the map that was just Austria since I have approximately five minutes left of Hungary I'm just kind of seeing if there's anything I can show you there's dogs over there fluffy little ones you see them there's another one little white one um there's also a different currency here and i don't even know what it is nice it's like the only bike i've seen today man is shamelessly taking a photograph what are you doing have a good trip Right, I'm not optimistic about this road getting any more interesting, but I have reconnected my bike to my phone so it knows where it is now. Hopefully it works and I've told it to take me on wiggly routes because once I get into Slovenia I'm hoping that the roads will get a little bit more interesting. I can see hills, so Slovenia is literally there, I can see hills, it's like it's like Hungary could have had hills, but all of its neighbouring countries were like, no, we want those, we will have those. And Hungary has been left with nothing, just flat, flat. Probably very fertile and good for farming lands. I mean, this is just farms. It's farm after farm after farm. And then lorries just carrying things across it because it's probably more interesting to get your stuff shipped than it is to take it anywhere yourself. The other reason that I've asked my bike to take me on winding routes is because I don't want to pay for another another toll pass. It was 10 euros to use the little bit of motorway that I used in Hungary. I could have used a lot more. I could have, you know, I bought it for 10 days. I bought 10 days worth of toll pass, but I'm only here for half a day. And here is the Slovenian border. Isn't it beautiful? There is no one here once again. I don't think they have a major problem with people coming in and out that shouldn't be. You could probably sneak into this country so easily if you wanted to. Not like trying to get in and out of England. Slovenia! Yay! Okay. Do I actually have to stop? Are we good? Yeah? Okay. Bye. Alright, that was good. That was easy. Um, yeah, so long as I don't end up on any motorways, it shouldn't cost me any money to be here. What I have noticed about these expensive toll roads that cost a lot of money if you're not using them for very long is that little roads like this just kind of run alongside them so is there really any point in using them? oh okay seriously? where are we going motorcycle? this is like not a road this is somebody's driveway I'm going to trust it for a little bit. I'm going to let it mess around. Maybe for about an hour and then I'm going to ask it to take me a little bit more of a direct route because right now it's saying I'm going to get to the place that I've booked at half six in the evening, which is a little bit later than I would like to be there. So good place to stop isn't it? So right, I'll go round. Really? Really this is what you conjured out of your little brain is it? You're, you thought oh she wants the winding roads well we'll take her through the most obscure little villages known to man. Oh my god. Well, 
look, there's Hungary. I think, I don't know, I don't know which direction I'm facing now. Oh my god, there's all sorts of plates here. I've just seen, I've got Hungarian in front of me. There was a French person back there. He's come a long way. I like that pink house. It's a pretty pink house. Oh my god, there's just deer. There's like a little... Oh, there's bunnies! Oh my god, that's so cute. I want to go. I haven't got time, but I want to see deer. Now I've seen deer. It's not. It doesn't count when they're in a, when they're in a pen. Those trees are weird. Those are weird trees. Finally getting some corners. Oh my god. Almost forgot how to steer for a second there. It's been straight for so long. Okay, interesting. I think what this bike is doing is it's just adding little detours into an already probably perfectly fine route. I mean, this isn't going to go anywhere. This is just going to come out further down the road that I just left. The roads don't have corners, so the bike's just giving me junctions instead. <sighs> okay. I wonder if there's a way of doing the roads that aren't motorways without having to do these little side quests. Um, chickens. The other problem with this is these roads are not great. Ugh. Yuck, 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 yuck. Okay. Yep. For goodness sake. Next time the bike tries to take me up a road that looks like that, I'm just gonna ignore it. Okay, so it wants me to go up that one and I'm going to respectfully decline. Sorry, but I just don't believe that that's going to take me anywhere other than back here. I'm sure it's a very pretty little village, but I think you're wrong. quite intent on going right, so I will humour you for a minute, okay? These are just tiny little baby churches. Look how cute that is. another teeny tiny church is actually the road. Oh boy, why has my bike done this? Why has my bike taken me from a road where I was perfectly happy and dumped me on a friggin' wet single track forest road? Like, what's wrong with you? I was having a good time. We were both having a good time. Jesus in the middle of the forest, hello Jesus. What 
do you mean re- No, you told me to take the second exit, you absolute bastard. Maybe it thinks U-turns are part of making the route more interesting and that's why it's making you do them. Just decided there aren't enough corners or junctions, so it'll make me do U-turns instead. Third exit. This roundabout has three exits! <laughs> I can't go down this road the right way, like... Are you... are you... right, okay, no. I'm sorry. I went down this road, you told me to turn around, now you're telling me to come back down it again. I'm gonna take the one exit that I haven't already taken. And you're just gonna have to deal with it. Maybe you think that there's another exit that doesn't exist. Maybe you think that person's driveway is an exit. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Right. Are you happy now? That's wild. Awesome. Very cool. I wonder how close I can get to it. I just want to get a photograph. That's interesting. So we're going to go and have a look. Okay. That is cool. That is cool. I'm just going to put the bike in front of it. And I'm going to get a photograph. And then I'm going to come back the way that I came. So I've changed the instructions that have gone to the bike's brain. I've asked it to take me the fast route, but avoiding toll roads and motorways. I don't know if that's going to make any difference. Hopefully it will stop it trying to take me on wild detours through the tiny villages. In fact, it looks like it's actually saved me half an hour of my expected arrival time, which is nice. Not really a petrol, it's not really a parking space, but it'll do. Okay. Several hours later. It started raining. Of course it started raining. Um, I'm now in the hills of Slovenia, which is exactly where I want to be. It is very nice here. The roads are very twisty. They're a little bit, little bit crumbly, but really fun. And there's not a lot of traffic on them. Um, I wish it wasn't raining, but I can have like one of the five things that I like at the same time. And normally when I get corners, I also get rain. I booked a hostel that was less than 20 pounds for the night and I've been given my own room um, because apparently they don't heat upstairs and I guess maybe they don't have enough people here to, to bother setting it up. I don't know, I've got a whole room for less than 20 quid. It's amazing, it's really nice. And there's Wi-Fi and there's a big kitchen and there's a restaurant downstairs and there's a shop down up the road. And, Amazing, absolutely amazing. Was not expecting, might stay forever. It's um, it's 6.30 and it's already really dark, which is a shame. This is where I'm staying. I'm sure it's very pretty in daylight. I think the shop is just up here. I'm gonna have a quick look at the shop, but there is actually a restaurant right there. And I think the guy that runs the hostel runs the restaurant. Um, he did say, he was like, are you coming for dinner? And I was like, oh, maybe later. Um, I shouldn't. I shouldn't eat at that warm and welcoming looking restaurant because I've eaten like a pig today. I had a hot dog and that was amazing. And then that wasn't enough. Three hours later, I was in a Burger King off the motorway, which I'm ashamed to admit, but I wanted comfort food and Burger King was gonna tick that box. Actually, it was disgusting and I regret it, but it doesn't change the fact that I did eat it. Sorry, that wasn't the shop. It must be the other way. Um, and now it would be unreasonable to go and get a meal from a restaurant, particularly because the photograph on the outside of that restaurant is a burger, a pizza and fish and chips. None of which are gonna be healthy. None of which are probably gonna make me feel any better. The Burger King definitely didn't. On a positive note, I really like where I am. I am right next to the border with Croatia and for the last hour of my day, 
I was just kind of riding along the border line. I don't know what the border is. I don't know if it's like a little river or something. I think it was just a line in the forest, but I was following that and it was really wiggly. And although it was wet, it was really fun. And it means that tomorrow I'm in a good position to go and explore Croatia, explore some more of Slovenia. I might book another night where I am because obviously I've, I've done quite well for myself there. I've got a whole room and it's, um, I reminded myself how much it was 17 pounds for the night. I've got a kitchen, I've got a bathroom. I think I'm the only one there, it's amazing. So I might, I might book another night. I'm not sure, we'll see how I feel. We'll see what the night's like. I think the shop is closed, so that one answers that one for me. I'm getting a pizza or something, I don't know. Hey Jesus. Jesus gets his own little light. Okay, that was a failed endeavor. You ever walk into a room and immediately feel like so, so uncomfortable? Um, I'm just gonna go hungry. So, probably not one of my more successful evenings, but I have had a really great day and I'm in a really good position to start tomorrow and go find some really exciting and interesting I roads. guess the first thing that I'm gonna have to do is find breakfast. But before then, hopefully I get a good night's sleep because I feel a lot better now than I did for the last few days. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.